Full Force Festival, Tag 3, Morkor hier. Wir sitzen hier gerade auf der Couch mit Niklas und Michael von The Halo Effect. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. How are you, good, uh, how are you doing today? It's pretty damn hot here at the festival, but it's very cool. It's good to see some old friends. And, yes, um, very nice to be here. Yeah, and it's good to be back at this festival. It's been uh, years, but I'm um, really happy and it's, yeah. it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. But um, you mean the full, uh, full Force Festival? Yes. Here, to be back. Yeah. So have you been here um, with Dark Tranquility? Yes, like, yeah. uh, I don't know, 10 years ago maybe it was the last time? Mm -hmm. uh, something like that. Yeah, because... Um, We can say the Hello Effect is a really young band, so you very young, yeah. It yeah. is, yeah. baby. So uh, yeah. you were founded in 2019, and you just yeah. released your first album last year. How does it feel for you, as uh, successful musicians, to be the new guys again? I mean, it. it, it yeah. You start. <laughs> <laughs> I think it feels refreshing and very yeah. fun, yeah. because you gotta do it again and see it with a little bit more. Another kind of ice to it. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, damn. A lot of fun. Yeah. That's what I would put it. Yeah. And I mean, we, we joke about it. Like, we could yeah. have started this band in yeah. like 91 when we started hanging out together and, you know, started to learn how to play and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's, you know, and it's 30 years later, we're actually doing it. So you, we have all this uh, experience, of course, but at the same time, like starting something new, kind of daunting. You know, like in terms of you know everything around it, but the actual playing and writing songs and being in the studio together That's with, with f for me, you know, I've only ever been in one band uh, since I was 14, so like starting something new was a lot of fun, and it's it was actually one of those things, you know, so many times you just talk to your friends and you go like, yeah, we should start yeah. a band, yeah. man. Yeah. It was yeah. it should be yeah. awesome yeah. after 14 beers, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, <laughs> then, uh, and, then yeah. and this was exactly the same, but it actually we actually made it. So um, yeah, we did it. Uh, we did it. We have. Yeah. I mean, we started out very very strong. I think like some yeah. of our first shows were huge huge festivals and main stages and that kind of stuff. So we've done any everything really, um, which has been fun. But there's it's been super cool that. Like the expectations and the kind of like the, um, the interest in this band has been uh, through the roof and and that's yeah. that's been really really cool so yeah. we did our first show before the album came out in at sweden rock festival in front of 25,000 people and that mm -hmm. was insane and then we played the main stage at wacken the day the album came out so nobody yeah, knew the songs was, already <laughs> so, amazing. but we could still yeah. do it and that so that i mean so you have to pinch your arms on yeah yeah, yeah it's happening? been un unreal <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah, it was there at Wacken. Uh, it was really, really big audience there. Yeah, yeah it was really I was nice. amazing, and that was our third show ever, yeah, I think. So, like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really cool. Um, no pressure. No, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so you have just told us um, you have been on tour through Europe, like uh, in last year, and you have been uh, to America this year. Yeah. Also, um, how did the people uh, react to the new album and the new uh, music? It's been great. I mean. Um, Yeah, as I said, like we started before the album was out, like did a couple yeah, of shows, yeah, and, and yeah. Um, but once it's out, now everybody knows it, and it, it's weird to play. So, so we play everything we have, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we had every to. every show we yeah. play the entire album and and uh, and more. So um, it's been awesome, and and to see how excited people are about this uh, this band has been. Uh, no, we get this sing along thing. Yeah, going yeah, yeah. With the melodies. Yeah, and, uh, I, it's been great. Like, and the shows great. in Sweden have been fantastic and yeah we did a short tour of america and it was really cool you know just like see if people care about this kind of stuff there and yeah it seems like they they are <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's um it's been fantastic was there any highlight in america we did canada as well yeah which is really good yeah uh, i think Mon montreal and montreal, quebec was probably yeah. the highlight of yeah. the tour i think so yeah, yeah. Cool. And and Milwaukee Metal Fest, of course. Yeah, Milwaukee and that, Metal the Fest. The reason we went was yes. we got booked for the because Milwaukee Metal Fest has been a festival for, you know, f 15 years or something yeah. like that. But it hasn't been around for the last five or seven, and now it's back and it's awesome. And there were so really many great good. bands and uh, totally sold out. Yep. Huge festival, yes. uh, amazing. So that that was really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, I haven't really done many festivals in America before, so this was Aye. a great experience as well. Nice. 
And uh, what I read was that you all were, uh, also played some new tracks who haven't uh, made it on the uh, last album, yeah. like uh, The Defiant Ones. Yeah. And uh, Become Surrender. Yes, yes. True. Yeah, True. <laughs> those are yeah, songs that are coming on the new album, or the next album. So oh, okay. uh, so we decided to... Test yeah. the water a little bit yeah, for those? Yeah, exactly. Like, see if you know, people are into the new stuff that we're writing. I mean, not that it's super different, but still, you know, and, and it's been fun to, to kind of, yeah, try things out and see if people are into it. And, um, and they seem to be digging it. So we're really excited. We just... Um, we're in the mixing stage of, of uh, album number two and uh, starting to sound pretty damn good. Mm, okay, is there something in the making? So it's definitely. I mean, it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. done. It's done. done. It's yeah. done. Yeah, we, we're doing the finishing mixes next yeah. week with uh, Jens Bogren. Okay. Yeah. And it feels really, really good. Yeah. Nice. The cover is done and everything is yeah. done, so it's just. Uh, Pictures done as well. Yeah, yeah, that too. That too. We're ready to go. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So it it's, it feels great to just have everything kind of like ready ready to go and then we can do all of our other things and then we're going to release the album uh, soon. Yes. <laughs> Unofficial yet, but <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> okay, really cool. Um, so what can we expect on this new album? What is maybe different uh, to the other one? I think it's... Can it be more riffage, maybe? <sighs> it's that yeah. possible? Uh, yeah, 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 I think yes, so. Yeah. And, and I think it... You know, to, to me, as we listen to it every day now in order to kind of finalize the mix, but it's it's more focused, I think. And it, I, it, yeah. I think, and it, for me, I, I, we, it feels like we are more confident in, in who we are. Whereas the first album was kind of like, hey, let's figure things out, yeah. see, see where we could take things. Yeah. And this is kind of like, this is who we are. And now it's it's more kind of focused and um, yeah, more final, I think, and, and more confident. It is, yeah. it is, especially after show, playing those a lot of shows together, yeah. you get that chemistry going, yeah. Yeah. which is really. And it's yeah, I, I cannot wait to to, <laughs> no, to I, start I releasing singles and stuff yes. like that. It's going to be awesome. Like, Let's cannot do wait. It. it sounds so good. Like it's really uh, cool. So maybe we can uh, take another new song today. Uh, uh, strong possibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you just uh, told us what are the next plans. So. For um, for the halo effect. No, I mean, yeah, finishing up the album and yes, mixing it and, and making sure everything priority. is priority. Yeah, and then um, there's going to be some more shows um, by the end of the year or September and stuff like that. And yeah. well, some more festivals. Some more festivals. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so but going back to America. That too. Yeah. And okay. Mexico. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Yeah. And um, ah, but then it's basically just a finishing the album and kind of starting the, the, the whole process of yeah. releasing a new one. Yeah. yeah. So cool, very cool. Um, I have a last question, and uh, it's a little bit personal for me because um, it's something I'm always wondering about. Because you were banned from uh, Sweden, especially in Göteborg. Yeah. And uh, I think Göteborg um, and Sweden are uh, a city in a country where it's very, very much really nice uh, music and bands are coming out. So maybe you can tell me um, why uh, is this so? So is there something in the war there, or why is this? Uh, is there so much great music from this town and this country? I think um, I think uh, we were happy because we, it was a time when we were growing up. There was, uh, at least for me, yeah. when I was hanging out at youth centers. And the government put a lot of money into that, so that you were able to feel for what you want to... Yeah, maybe I like to play guitar, and then you have to try it out, or bass, drums, or keyboards, or whatever. And then we had the leaders of the Juice Center as well, and they were really encouraging, and really, yeah, let's do this, I can teach you this song with Van Halen, Motley Crue, whatever you like. Yeah. That's where I, where I come in from. Yeah, and it was yeah kind of similar for me, I mean, we, we grew up in the same city, but different parts of town, but... Um, it was it was kind of encouraged. Like in school, you can yeah. If you want to start play an instrument, you can go to like the youth yep. center after school, yep. and just hang out there if you like, you know. And you can get grants for you know to pay the rent of a rehearsal room or get a free rehearsal room, that kind of stuff, or rent instruments. It, it, it's kind of encouraged to do something, you know, like right. you know, do something with your free time, basically. Yeah. Uh, be creative, do something. And I mean, I think that that's a big part of it. But also, of course, there's a tradition of of great music in Sweden, you know since going back to the folk music and, and of course like ABBA and Europe yeah. and all those yeah. kind of great me heavy metal bands and, and, and pop bands. Um, so I think it kind of like, it, since it started kind of early in the, like in the 70s, that kind of inspired everybody. And then once 
scene got going, especially like for metal and more extreme metal, like in the late '80s, all of a sudden, like it was possible. You know, yeah. you could actually exactly. start a band, and it felt kind yeah. of um, it was yeah, it was kind of like tangible. It was something that you could actually do. Mm. And that inspired a lot of people, and and of course, like we had a, a great underground scene at the time for for death metal and death and, yeah. um, a lot of fan scenes, a lot of like tape trading and that kind of stuff, and that that was huge, you know. Not it wasn't huge, but I, for I, us I, it but was but huge. It, it <laughs> like was they, they dedication, yeah, yeah, a lot of dedication. <laughs> yeah, and I think that that really inspired a lot of bands to kind of start. So, uh, but it's it, it's true. Like I'm I'm incredibly proud of all the fantastic bands just from our our small city, you know. And we have bands in so many different genres, from you know prog rock to you know doom metal to yeah. pro, you know black metal to death metal, all that kind of stuff. It is everything, and it's great. And it, and the quality is amazing, no, no matter what genre it is. And I, uh, it, it it's really cool. And also, of course, yeah, we had some cool venues. Uh, we had some cool booking agents that that were really encouraging of new young bands and young talent. Definitely. So, yeah. So it was, I mean. I wouldn't say it was but easy, but maybe was it was much easier than other places. Who knows? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have nothing to compare to. You know, <laughs> that was really cool when you did this. Yeah, you played at the youth centers and yeah. you know, all the friends coming out and we were yeah. hanging out and yeah. yeah. Uh, then all of a sudden you got a gig in town. Wow, mm. in Gothenburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, Edvard Jonsson. Yeah, Valvet was another place, or Magazine was another place. Yeah, but wow, we gotta play Valvet. Yeah. That's wow. No, we made we, we made something here. Yeah, yeah. And my first ever show was Dark Equality supporting Nicholas's old band, and that was you know how yeah, we, yeah. and that was ninety one. <laughs> no, yeah, ninety one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. So, so the, I think the, the part of that. Uh, built the scene because you had a place to play and you had places to hang out and you you could kind of meet all the like-minded exactly. uh, you that know me uh, metalheads you know and of course this was before social media and everything else yes. like so it was it was basically like you're standing around uh, lying outside of a concert and you go like hey man what are you into like oh, look at my patches all right cool then I love that band too, and then yeah. you're my friend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that, it was as easy as that, you know. You actually um, had to go to the record store to, yeah. to to pick up the vinyl, or CD had begun a little bit. Kind of, yeah, but kind of, first, yeah, it was uh, still vinyl. But you yeah. were collecting them, and you were like, I have this obituary, mm. Atheist, or yeah. Morbid Angel, yeah, or so and so on. But I think so. So definitely, uh, the, and the scene was also very encouraging, and I think yeah. it, that goes for for all kinds of music in Sweden, like. Everybody's f super friendly. There's never any competition. It's about kind of encouraging each other to kind of you know be better and you know so we kind of share experiences yeah. and um, you know and you you try to help everybody out basically. Yeah. And it um, was so cool at this place, Valvet. I got yeah. to see one of my favorite <laughs> thrash bands, yeah. Coroner. Oh fuck oh, yeah 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 they came. So good. And I mean, and, and like first oh. ever show with like Carcass played in, yeah. in like Gothenburg and yeah. like, it's even Bolt thrower right? Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So so even like. You know, bands that you you can only you you can even even imagine right. seeing. You know that you were like, holy shit, this is the coolest thing. And also and also of a sudden like this, one of our you know friends from back then and still our friend, he booked them in Gothenburg just so in, to inspire people. And that that really helped. I think yes. to kind of kickstart uh, you know a, a generation of young kids to go like, fuck, we want to be a part of this. And of course that and that, and it started in the 80s and it's still going now. And um, yeah. it's really cool to see so many kind of like young and new bands are doing incredible music and uh, really, really original, cool, exciting stuff. So it, it's still going. That's so good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So thank you so much for these answers. Now I'm smarter. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks so much for the interview. Hey, thank thank you. you. Thanks for having us. And thank have you. a good show later. <laughs> we will uh, do our best. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Good.